So we'll just pretty much make a stream marker for that. I I don't think I need to. Yeah, I don't even think I have any. Um. Yeah, that's just like previous character stuff. Now I'm going to go fresh on creating a new character. So this right here is going to be my new main that I technically create. Um. I might check out the previous characters like I like I said, but overall, I wanted to start fresh. So most likely, since I am starting fresh, I personally never really in MMOs really go any of the other races. Um, if anything, I could probably see myself maybe eventually going Elizin. Uh, I would probably never play as La Lalafell or however you say that personally. Uh, cat person, I don't know. This guy, I could see, I could see myself making this character, maybe. Like if I was making like a uh, a warrior or something like that, and didn't want to have all the jobs on one character. And then this one, same thing, like kind of like a mage, but um, I'm gonna go this one higher probably like the most human looking character uh, -huh. uh and then i probably am gonna go uh midlander is the highlander i feel like they all just look very old and uh i definitely want to have the appearance uh, -huh. uh and so you'll be seeing your character the entire time uh in an area where i want it to actually be so let me go with that yo what's going on logan Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> uh, of course, we got to go chiseled. I mean, it doesn't really change that much. But yeah, I guess it does. Actually, it, it just gives you like a little bit more shiny and you can see like your bone structure more. But whatever. Uh, let's see. Skin color. So muscular tone, skin color. Uh, I'm going to go a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. Nothing too dark, but nothing too light. Tiny, tiny tan. Hairstyle. All right, so this is probably where it's going to take me the longest to figure out. So, huh. Do we have any type of aid? The one thing I like about, I did make an, a secondary character on a different server. I think I went with this hairstyle here. Cause I was trying to go for more of like a samurai looking uh, person, even though I don't have the samurai samurai class unlocked. Um, so I tried following that route, and it was fun like messing around with the different options that we have. But now, since this will be like my main character, um, this is gonna be a hard part of figuring out what I actually want to go with. Probably not that. I mean, something short, but something like clean. That's usually my style. And the other thing, the one thing that kind of bothers me about this game is the whole uh, beards. From my understanding, there's not really many beards. And I wish there was. I wish you could throw on a full, uh, full face hair and things like that. But from my understanding, there's only like a goatee. And some sideburns that you can get. Uh, that's okay. Let's see what else we got. You know, like, I, I'm honestly not 100% opposed to going with, like, a, a fade with, like, a, a man bun on the back. Um, you know what the side part... Uh, I feel like the side part's a little bit too, uh, too, like, formal looking. Especially if you have a baby face the entire time. Kind of like, yeah. Uh, the longer hair it gets better. That one's okay. This is, this is what I mean. It's going to be the hardest part is selecting what I want my character to look like. Like, I feel like some of the, the longer hairs, it makes your character look li actually a little bit older. Um, let me go around with other stuff here. So definitely going all black. Um, face. <laughs> I 
I might stick with the original face that it gives you. It's a little too young. That's like normal. That one's like old boomer. Yeah, that's fine. That face is good right there. Jaw. Good number one. Okay. That works. Eye shape. Kind of like the eye shape right now. Five. Yeah, I don't, I don't honestly don't see that much of a difference. I think we'll go with that. Uh, large or small, we'll probably stick with large. Eye color. So, of course, I have to go kind of uh, as close as I can get to, like, my eye color. Like that. Green eyes. Sort of. Like, mixed between green and blue. But typically, I go towards green. Eyebrows. Let's go with four. Yeah, four works. Nose. Uh, I, I guess we can at least check them out. Three. I guess we'll go three. Uh, three or six. Three makes it like longer. Like, sort of like an XQC nose. Uh, let's go with that uh mouth Whoa, i i don't see myself changing the mouth but sure all right yeah i'm just gonna leave that the color same facial facial features so here's where we can throw on a little bit of face hair um but not much oh i wish you could throw on like a full beard or something I guess not. What is this tattoo color? Uh, wait, actually, let me go back to tattoos. I, I don't see myself really with those. As much as I, I love tribal tattoos, uh, I don't think I'll go with that. This is all like makeup stuff, I think, here. You can go with some whiskers. Some of that. Now I'm good. It's again, good on that. Wait, what happened to the... Oh, you could get, like, giant sideburns or something. Those are scars. Tattoos, face paint. No, I actually don't mind this haircut. I don't know what happened to the, um... I thought I could have sworn that there was a face features like sideburns, like something that comes down right here, but maybe not. I could have sworn I had it on like another character. Uh, okay. Well, you know, worst case, you do get an item that lets you change your character for free, at least the first time. So, um, if I really, if there is something I really don't like, I can always do that. Yeah, I feel like that's like too rep, preppy looking in a way. That one's okay, but it's a little bit higher than I want it to be. Um... Same. Eh. Like, even that's not bad, but I feel like my guy looks like, uh, Yushiki. From Yakuza. It's okay. Same. I honestly might stick with that haircut that I had, even though it was a lot longer. Than I attended. This one's okay. 
character creation, the hardest part. Interesting. Where was that hairstyle that I had? This one? No. This one. That's what I had. Like a mullet. Kind of reminds me of... Um, wait, was it this one? I don't think it was. It was. No, I think it was... Where was it? I just clicked on I just had it a second ago. Was it this one? No, that is the same one. Like, give me a full, full face, facial hair, and I think this would be like perfect. Or not perfect, but all right, you know, like doable. Um, dude, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I could just stick with this, but nah, it's too basic. All right, whatever. I think I'm going to go with this one. Even though it's so much longer. Wait, not. Wait, was it this one? I could have sworn I had a different one. Uh, I don't like the hair in front. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, nope, nope. Sorry. Could go with this one. I could, I could. And it doesn't change anything with your facial, right? Yeah. You can tilt the camera. Or down. Ah, I see. Interesting. Um. Still can't decide. All right, whatever. Go on this one. Leaving at that. Voice. That's the one thing I didn't change. I might stay with the... The one. Uh huh. All right, this one works. And confirm. Sure. Hmm. I am back here. Anyways, uh sorry my girlfriend had her uh Reddit Secret Santa bag that just came in. So she went and opened all that. And wow, person went above and beyond. Uh, she got a lot of stuff that they didn't have to get, but it was really cool. Anyways, uh, let's see here. So if I went with my birthday, I think it would be this one. And 14, yeah, 10, 14. 
So let's do that. <laughs> so much stuff. Yara has her own little toy too. Yeah. Alright, let me focus on uh, this here. So now, uh, what? Patron deity? From my, my understanding is patron deity doesn't mean much, but um, went over these the other day. Uh, three spears, the moon. I like reading the, they are often depicted as a maid carrying a round skillet. Uh, scholar holding an ashen staff. Often depicted as a weaver donning the white silken veil. Uh, strong fisherwoman wielding a long bladed harpoon. Depicted as a carefree ranger wielding a bow of youth. Smith with two headed sword. Carrying a staff of bronze. Okay. Noble lady holding a golden fan. Balance. Depicted as a jubilant farmer holding a scythe of steel. And this one is a great axe. I think I'm going to go with the scroll. Thalic. Thalic. Use Kiar. Now, here's what I haven't decided yet on what class I'm going to start as. Yar. She's being so... Oh, she has the noisiest toy right now. Uh, it's either Conjurer, Arcanist, or Archer. Right? It's Um, I think I might actually go Conjurer this time around. Um, either Conjurer or Archer. I'm just nervous I'm going to get burnt out on potentially another Conjurer class, but or mage class, but the conjurer can change into the summoner, which would be really cool to have. Um, I think that's what it turns into, at least. Hold on, let me check. Let me check. Job guide. It's actually the Arcanist that turns into the Summoner. Okay. So that's this one. Uh, set forth the beings of the gods. I wish it would tell you that kind of information like while you're creating them like oh this character will div uh dive into this class or blah 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 but it doesn't really do that um which is okay uh using the self swing sword to unlock the lantern uh latent power then the gemstones arcanist can also be used to summon forth the familiar known as arbuncle to carry out their bidding Okay. Does it say something like that towards the end? All right, let's go Arcanist then. Um, so let's hit confirm. And wait, really? No, no, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought I was okay. I thought I was on Genova. 
It's a good thing I read that before I actually went through with it. So, Homeworld Genova, all right. Core name and surname. Asses Clay. Core name and surname must be between 2 to 15 characters and not total more than that. Only letters and hyphens and apostrophes can be used. The first character of your name must be a letter. Hyphens cannot be used in succession or placed immediately after that. I'm just curious what it. Bagley, Coley, Olsen. Okay. Play. Boom. All right, here we go. Begin a new game with this character. Let's do it. I'm going to have to turn up the volume and stuff once we get in game because I think I have the volume pretty low from just playing it in the background while watching other streams personally. But here we go. New character, Final Fantasy 14, finally. 45 minutes later. That's actually not too bad, especially with me stepping away for like five to ten minutes so during a character creation at least but uh yeah i'm gonna try to actually focus on the story and everything um and kind of go from there but i'm gonna shut up during this cutscene. Okay. It's like the uh the Skyrim intro. <laughs> oh, it's a different uh intro than I've ever had. It'll seem like a sea sickness now that I look at you it'll be aether than I reckon. A lot of reading about to go down. So I'm sensitive to the stuff of sea and we ain't too far from now. No need to fret though, you'll soon get used to it. Why does it actually look like it's lagging a bit? One sec, let me try restarting this.
it's so weird that some MMOs, even though you figure they would be the easiest running ones, they lag more than other games that are more like, like this is more laggy right now than I than it was when I played Cyberpunk. But it doesn't look like it's lagging for me. It's only for the stream. Janae's usually garments. I'd say you were one of the adventurers. Am I warm? Yes. Was it attract to you? To gain power, to win glory, to amass fortune? Uh Win glory. The first time I had a dialogue choice. Want to report to the Adventurers Guild? Uh, you can find everything you need to know about adventure and business in there. Just remember, through, though, there are more important things for fortune and glory, such as breathing through. You know, profit and being dead. Ah! Pirates, bloody hell. Get below. <laughs> One second, chat. I just want to see if I can turn this. Sometimes this helps if I change that priority down for NDI. Might help a little bit. Just silent right now. <laughs> there goes Kiara again. Yeah, technically it is. At least from what I remember. Journeyed, uh, I tell you, is in yours. Amen. At, or ahem. Prize itself in Yorza's form, foremost naval power. Weren't too long ago that the place was ruled by pirates, but thanks to current Admiral Civil, Civil, Civilizing influence, the city state could. Almost passed for a respectable nation. You'd never guess she was once running swollen buccaneer herself. <laughs> and so quick to change. So much text. Land ho. a small face here we go on a windswept aisle in the southwestern corner of the realm amidst the roiling waves of the Rotom Sea lies the maritime city-state Limsa Lominsa. Limsa and Lominsa. <laughs> to this haven for bandits and brigands, cutthroats and curs, seekers of both freedom and fortune, comes a lone adventurer. For who? Lone yet not alone, for uh -huh. the hero's arrival has drawn the gaze of the nation's patron deity, Lim Lane.
What realm-shaking fate has she descried in the churning waters of this mortal's future? So now we part ways. Off to the market to deliver me wares and then onto the high road for me. Here's an idea. Become the sort of sort sort storied personage I can brag about having met and I'll consider a square. See, why can't I have a beer like that? Wait a minute, I just thought of that. He has one. Through I don't. And hardship, discovery and triumph. May the navigator guide this brave soul on his life's voyage. Till sea swallows all. <laughs> I know. Final Fantasy 14. I almost read it as 15 because that I. It's interesting. It's a lot different than a, uh, like a starting area than any of the other um, characters I've ever created. I'm pretty sure, isn't this the main area for Final Fantasy 14? I've just never actually started here any of my characters in the past I have to turn up the volume once once we get in here hey you there yellow jacket information or infantry man this is my district I made the business so all those scum that washes up in it Ah, an adventure fresh off the boat, is it? Well then. Allow one of Limsa Lominsa's finest to set you on the right path. Hop to it, lad, and I haven't I haven't gotten all day. Alright. Wants me to get out of his uh his area, I guess. Bustling city filled with scoundrels, brigands, and the Rough cut diamonds from the Rotten Sea. Mouse and keyboard. All instructions. Yep. Pretty familiar with uh, most of the settings at, at starting up at least. Um, let me change the text size. Log detail. Making this like 16 or so. Make that a little bit larger. Um, I think that's pretty much all I've really ever changed. Oh, yeah, need to add two hot bars Just so I have them in the future Three and four Change to that close we'll drag three right here Four right here That's good Play guide, I'm, I'll keep. Just move it there. Return, teleportation. And that's our first ability. Okay, cool. Okay, sorry, sorry. Oh, really? Initiating quests. Accept. Crap, I forgot to change the audio. Alright, now I'm sure you're extra to explore, but adventurers are required to register their presence in the city without a bit of local uh, knowledge. You're like to get your throat slit in some of the piss stinking alley. Uh, enroll with the Adventurers Guild. Oh. Peace. It's straight down the street, speak with 
uh, Griffar. I'll show you how to work with the big moving platform called the Crow's Lift, and that'll take you up to the pub. So there, look for the fellow by the name Darren. No, nobody has simple names here. Nobody. Everybody's got like a complex, uh, blah, 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 blah. Duty list. Okay, yeah. It's just like your quests, all that. And then it looks like we have our job quests now too. Um, let me check the settings here. User. No, not user. Pros. Uh, system configuration. See if it's any better in full screen capturing. It might be. Yeah, it looks like it is. I think. Test. Let me just check this too. Let me just check this too. Cool. All right, so that's good as well. Yeah, what's going on, Logan? <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, yay. 4k you can make it that i'm just oh my god oh that's just the uh the size of your stuff your bars okay yeah so the 150 is good for me uh yep that frame rate oh you can uh limit it All right, uh, other thing we need to do is audio. Move this back up. Put it at like 85. Put sound effects back up to like 75. Voice. Just, yeah, uh, like, yeah, no, we want that to be a little bit higher. Ambient sounds. Was... I don't know what performance is, but I'll leave it at that. Um, is that music? Yeah, it is. Do 50. Okay. Uh, enable city BGM in residential areas. Sure. All right. I think we are officially good to get moving here. Welcome to Limsa Lomlinsa. It's such an interesting name for a city. I click on the NPC. That'd be cool. I wonder if uh, turning on like text to speech <laughs> would uh, read all these things for you. The thing I don't like is if I click out the game too. Now, since we're in full screen, it's going to minimize the game or put it into a weird. Um, uh, thing. Apparently, I just had something to deliver. I don't know what it was, though. All right. Honestly, this I'm just going to skip through because it's just him showing the, the area. First steps as into the city. Uh, listen well, a wisdom of Badaran. Ten fingers, then go forth and discover the incredible adventures that await you. Main scenario. I'm familiar with uh, which quests are 
the main ones, what's side stuff, what's like unlocks new content and all that. Um, a lot of this I just ran over not too long ago. Just not for this specific area, at least. Any like story cutscenes, though, for sure, I'll, I'll watch them. I won't skip through that. To leave the drowning wench, you must accept the quest making a name by speaking with Ninja. A menu. Got that. Hide. I gather exit team. Press M on your map by selecting a mini map or pressing travel. Bring up the area map. Water skill. Set that so that way it moves with us. We'll pick this up. Way of the Arcanist is over that way. Tune yourself to the... Wait, where am I going? Uh, right here. I don't think we're in the open world yet because we don't see anybody. I think we're just in like a special instance right now until you do... Um, like complete the first starting quest or something. I know it happened pretty early on the last character I created. Sanctuaries. E. Yep. Okay. And right, now we're in the uh, like starting area. You pick up all the herb herbs. <laughs> Person went the opposite way. Yo, what's going on, Dev? <laughs> Coffee in the stream in bed. You shouldn't have. I hear that. We're just getting started here, so I'm literally just uh, doing some of the first quests. And that in. Nice. Use. Ooh. Oh, man. Oh, my God. This is very active right now. Holy crap, dude. What class am I? Arcanist, right? Yeah, Arcanist. Let me throw that in my bio. There we go. Into the title. Oh wow. I thought it was gonna minimize minimize, but I guess it didn't. Oh, well, I saw your tweet a few minutes ago, so I'm love. Yeah, she's she's good. It's just uh an annoying situation. Mostly. But grateful to have it back. The tool is a keepsake of my days as a ship captain. Uh, the simple sturdy adventuring equipment you seek look no further than east and west arms of hawker's alley uh lest you doubt each gill you invest in arms and armor will be money spent venturing is all a dangerous profession by its very nature because without saying the hawker's alley posts stalls specialize in everything uh and blah 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 ranges knowledge will serve you well purpose is short um, I'm liking it so far. The other day I made a character as well. Um, just to test it out. It sucks because I had to, well, 
I mean, it doesn't suck, but yeah. Hey. I had to subscribe um, in order to try out the game again, which I mean, it's OK, but it is it is what it is. Um, I made a it's kind of like a, it's called a Lancer, but they eventually go into a Dragoon, I think it's called. Uh, which is kind of like a uh, a spear person in a way so I made them and um, I played around with them for a bit got them to like level 13 and then kind of stopped and now I'm here where I made this character which is going to be pretty much my main one um, and kind of go from there but hold on Just saying in chat if there's any free companies recruiting since this is going to be my main character we'll see if we get an invite to anything yeah i think this i'm pretty sure this is like the main main world um like the the main area that like everyone goes to uh as like a home i from what i remember i don't believe there's like back there's there is factions but i'm pretty sure you still go here at the end of the day so there's that but maybe that's a www be honest i'm not even 100 percent sure where i'm headed okay we're here so each uh the one really cool thing about this game um didn't know you're a student at hogwarts uh the one really cool thing about this game dev is every single class you can play as so you make one character and then say like i'm playing as an arcanist right now when i hit a certain level you'll be able to go over and like say if i go to i don't know the the uh the archer which eventually the archer is actually the one that turns into the bard if i wanted to go and play as an archer i can go to the archer's guild talk to the person they'll give me the quest and they'll give you a starting weapon as well and then basically when you have that you automatically swap to when you swap to that weapon um you swap to that class so you can literally make one character and then go through every single class for them which is really neat um in my opinion at least but you can also make multiple characters as well it's up to you arcanist is a mage right yes um so it's one of the there's three disciplines of magic um there's disciplines of war which is like a lot of melee stuff and then you have disciplines of magic disciplines of magic um they're pretty much anything with uh you have the arcanist conjurer and a thermage a mage i forget how you say it um but then this one breaks into a summoner and i think a healer class um the thaumage turns into a black um black magic or something like that and uh yeah so like when you hit level 30 you unlock like a new tier and like that's like the the remainder of that yourself to the uh thing slay the wharf rat okay so we got all of our 
quests for that there. Um, I forgot we need to go to the center to attune myself. Where is that actually? Oh, <laughs> I was all the way over there and I didn't even do it. These little guys let you uh, teleport through the city. Be right back on the switch systems. Okay, sounds good. It's crazy how many people are here. I don't think I've ever seen so many people. Another adventurer. I am Sundhimo, one of Yellow Jacks's ace that are tasked with keeping peace in the city. Yeah, he's just explaining that thing. Now I'm able to use the return spell. So return will just take you back to that, which is cool. Um, report back to this guy right over there. Is there a male person nearby? I don't really see one. We need to go up this way. Yep. Upper decks. Hey there, Cassis. <laughs> nice. All right, so now we need to be uh, level five for the next one. Small talk, nothing. Let's do this, I guess. Uh, oh yeah, you're one of the possibilities. Adventurers Guild, we have a new adventurers and fledging heroes that they explain the adventure or uh, suddenly begun their journey. That's what it is. Expert in PvE. I'm expert in PvP. Uh, mentor is going to be that. Uh, approach mentor with the appropriate knowledge and the answers will soon be yours. That's what like the king sign is. Now I see. Back had to switch because that delay was crazy. No worries. <laughs> I get that. Uh, okay, so there's actually a thing down here, and my next quest is down here as well. I need to hit level five. Alright, not level five, uh, level three for the next quest, I think. 
main uh, scenario quest. Grab this. And there's a delivery moogle right here. Everything set up in like Christmas time. Oops. I think I should have some items from and there we go. Minions. Or actually, uh, you've been tamed then to learn to use call minion action, which is a first to use missile or not missile item. Armory chest. Okay. Untradeable. Okay. And we will delivery service. Basically your mail. So now, use this. Now summon the minion. Uh, no, I don't think I ever did. Or Stardew Valley. Getting a new update or something. Wind up keen. <laughs> Interesting. That's the item that lets you change looks. Not sure what this does. Oh, really? Mount guide. Wait, I can automatically use this? Oh, uh, no. Once I learn the ability or something, unauthorized to use Griffin Mount. Okay. Now we should have some items to equip like that. And the nice thing is this will give me 20% more XP up to level 25. I think that's really cool. They're adding a lot of end game comment, uh, content, a new farm to start with, ability to randomize your playthrough, split screen co-op. Okay. That's pretty neat, actually. Flurry days. Where is this? Oh, it's right there. That's this person. Slay them. And where is this one at? Okay, so both of those go inside there. Rachel might like Stardew Valley since she likes in Animal Crossing. Probably. I've always said that too, actually. But, um, I don't know. No. <laughs> All right, let's try this out. Let's kill some rats. I think I need to be level four for that one. Come on, date night, you farm. She decorates the house. True. <laughs> or what if I want to decorate the house and she can farm? 2020, you know? <laughs> I don't think I even have Stardew Valley um, on my PC. I have uh, the one, uh, my time in uh, Portia or Portia. 
I have that game. I've always heard people say uh, interesting things about that. I kind of feel like swapping those two would actually be better. kill other things now way of the arcanist uh we haven't unlocked the hunting log just yet that's one thing i actually really like i find a lot of fun doing that if you ever want to play a video game within a video game inside of a star uh star drop saloon is a heart arcade game i always find like that kind of stuff interesting that games uh, introduce it. Pretty cool things. Like a video game with it inside of a video game. <laughs> okay, nice. This is actually what I need to kill. As busy as that other area was, there's like not many people out here. Yeah, a lot of the areas are really cool. I mean, it's a Final Fantasy game, so that kind of like comes with the uh, the name. I feel like. And like I said, that this game is on. Uh, it's on PS4. And it's crossplay as well. barely doing any damage to this thing. I'm getting wrecked. Ow. Okay, I'm running. Uh, I think it's for the cheap one, it's 12 bucks. Um, 12 bucks a month. And I think it's, if you, so the way it works is if you buy the starter edition, I'm not sure how, how uh, realistic it is on PS4, uh, but if you buy the starter edition, you get at least 30 days of the game, uh, or you get a 30 day like subscription. And then you also, um, you also get like, uh, I think it's, after a certain amount of times, if you hit like level 30 within those 30 days, I think they give you another 30 days. Like there's a reward system to it as well. So like you can continue playing. If you never stop playing, I think eventually you'll you'll hit a point where you need to subscribe, but then they give you rewards. So like for me, I got the 60 days, but they gave me another 90 days for getting it because of the reward system. So now like I have those sitting in my, uh, in my, like my reward thing or something like that. Or no, I, I subscribed for 90 days and they gave me 60 days. That's what it was. So it was the opposite, but that's still pretty good. That's like five months for thir three months. So we need to head back and 
and this one in and hopefully that bumps me up to level four so that way i can go pick up the other quest Can't take the discipline of war one, so we'll take this. Pets. You can now summon a pet to do your bidding. You only have access. Uh, you only have access to one pet for now, but there will be more opportunities to acquire more as you continue through your adventures. You can uh, cast these summon from your hot bar to complete the Arcan. Uh, once your pet is summoned, a fixed hot bar is shown as the pet hot bar will appear. The pet hot bar's presence is that. The guard commands your uh, steady and orders them to attack and leave. Okay. Cool. Now we can pick up this one as well. And head back to ending this in at uh oh crap we didn't attune over there okay i think it's is it up oh both of them are over there actually there's a bar and i can play as a bard exactly <laughs> That's why I feel like if any like MMO is your thing, I feel like this one would kind of be it, you know? Okay, cool. So we're in the right area now. And I'll teleport over to the Arcanist uh, guild. And then we'll have to go over there at some point. Ah, oh, shoot. Wrong one. Starter edition DLC or the main game? Uh, it's pretty much the main game. It gives you like the, the just the starting stuff. Uh, okay, skill. It's it's literally a starting edition. So it just gives you like some items, I think. Um. And then you also get that like 30 day thing. Starter is 19. Yeah. So you would want like if it, if you're not sure about it, 100% I would say starter edition because it's 20 bucks. It gives you that 30 day uh, trial thing. And then also if you want to like continue that kind of stuff, then uh, eventually you can do that. That way you don't like dive right into it right away, you know? It's just like a, a starting point. See if you like it. If you keep playing, then you get another 30 days. And eventually when that runs out, um, then you can straight up subscribe. Uh, also, Dev, if you're planning on doing that beforehand, um, I forgot to add it in here. Uh, if you do exclamation point, F, uh, F, F, X, I, V. Boom. When you subscribe, you get your own, uh, referral code. So, uh, I have that as well. And I think that gives you some, like, starting. I think that gives you this, uh, thing that I have right here. Uh, to increase your friendship circlet. Because I found somebody else's on Reddit. And uh, when you do that, when you use it, you get like certain items in game. And one of them was this. So.
Uh, oh crap, I'm going the wrong way. There's so many people. Is that, um, life? Oh, we are restarting, so we got house and all. Am I going the right way? <laughs> I mean, that's up to you, man. You want to feel free i'm just starting out too um but if not it's totally cool as well i just feel like this potentially could be like your style of game so i feel like it, it might be a good fit for you yes yeah you would be able to um the only thing is you have to uh right now like when you create a character it tells you um where you're going to be starting at so please i want to put this down for sure okay that's cool that thing is neat So it will automatically attack without me telling it to? Okay, nice. There, I mean, there is, but it's not, uh, you know, it's not like a thing yet. Or like, I'm not there yet. It's a thing. Um, there's actually three expansions, like three heavy expansions. A lot of them, or a lot of people consider the expansions in themselves like almost a giant uh, story, like, like almost another game because of how big they are, uh, actually are. So, but in order to get there, you'd have to be like a, a very high level first in the, in the first place anyways, so. I'm not there yet, uh, and it would be a while until I would be. But, um, yeah, the only thing is, like, your starting location. Um, but then, even then, like, once you hit level 15, you can go back and forth between them. Yeah. I think, did I just get an invite? The companies are independent. Uh... Oh, there it is. You have joined a free, a free company by changing your chat mode to free company and greeting the other uh, thing, selecting it menu. Where is it? Social free company. Immortal Flames. Cool. They're called Shade. Light. Darkness and Light. Oh man, it's running me through all this. Eh, free company is like the guild stuff. By the way, dev. And housing. I think they're an arcanist as well, yeah. Looks like it. Uh, hopefully I can turn in some of those HUDs off. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure some of these things you can turn off. 
um, if you really want to, besides like this thing down here. I'm not sure exactly how the game plays on a controller, but I, I would assume that it runs like decent, you know? Part of battle, company seals are, are burned. I'm trying to get as much as I can for that uh, bonus experience. So I have 3% from eating food. I have 20% from this uh, friendship circlet. And then I think also being inside of the uh, free company gives me another. There are food buffs there. I'm gonna do a research on the bar class. All right, sounds good, man. Yeah, starting out, it would be a uh, uh, archer class. And then when you hit level 30, that's when the uh, bard class. But like I said, like, even if you don't like, if you like your character that you created and you don't like the class, you can always go to the other classes guild and start the quest, you know, and switch it up. So that's the one really cool thing that I like about this. Like the flexibility and all that. Who's this guy? Oops. Always press enter. When you get your first chocobo mount, he tables and house to clean them up. There is some voice acting, but they're mainly only in uh, the the like actual uh, cutscenes. There are actual cutscenes, and I think that I just say you can now uh, accept the next class. Okay. Best. And I, I would assume like later on when you get further in the game as well, um, along with the the new like content stuff, um, I'm sure there's more more voice acting at those points as well. So. I love how connected this area is. Present yourself for inspection. Where's that? Is that right here? your head in uh oh okay for level five okay, with gear of item level five or greater head body hands legs and feet with gear of item five or greater oh great one level five oh no i need hands Legs, feet. Well, I, I'm going to try to go do this. Maybe it's blasting Post Malone and I low-key want to go hang out with him. <laughs> it's interesting. 
I mean, it's not bad music, at least. This is packed. Arcanist skill. <laughs> I'm reading the bar class and like posty is that you? Kind of want to hide my name, even though it's pretty obvious. Uh, let me do that real quick. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. Ah. I think it's just in the game. <laughs> Play sounds when the window is not active. Yeah, we'll do that. Might be under character configuration. The game reminds me of the Hobbit for the for some reason. Interesting. <laughs> All right, so now we need to go slay some wild dodos. Is this all in the same area? No, it's not. That's down there. Wait, do I have uh, cash? Because I might be able to go get some gear. 120. I wonder if I can get level 5 gear. Oh, uh, that'd be interesting. I'm not 100% sure if you can, but... This guy sells die. Oh, nice. Price. Battlecraft supplier. Or just weapons. It's level one. There we go. That's level five. I could buy it. Um, oh wait, can I? I don't even know if I have enough. 219. No, I'm, I'm broke. I have enough for that. <laughs> <laughs> Summoning bell, right price, the proper procedure. Does it give you information? Okay. Equip your, your head, body, hands, legs, and feet with gear of five or above and present yourself for inspection so head body we need hands the legs too legs and feet yeah okay
this way now. That's why. I think we need to go up. Actually, let's go pick up that quest just in case. Nice. That'll lead us to the same area. Did I already? Yeah, I already got that one. Are there any airships in this game? I believe so. I think. I'm not exactly sure how it works or if, like, you get one or, like, whatnot, but, uh... Yeah, pretty sure that there are at least. You know what's cool is my uh, my keyboard is very responsive to the game. Wait, this restores target HP? Wait, so does that heal them? Airship and exploring the new world. PV, PvP combat. Yeah, right. I think that would be pretty sick. What's that? Run. What's in the box and that? Okay, cool. Dauntless would let us fly the ships. They did add gliders recently. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's kind of like a, a minuscule thing, but still neat, I guess. Worst case scenario, if we can't uh, do this, then we could at least uh, buy it buy the gear with the money that we're getting from these. What? During what? Banging? Oh. <laughs> Waiting for the last time to run their game to be made. Turn off the notifications down here. Level six. Um, where is it? Oh, yeah, there's a way that you can open all your bags at the same time. 
too, I'm pretty sure. Into the same one based on category. Full tabs in order. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yo, what's going on in se N7, Neil? How you doing? Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. I don't know why there's no, like, no notification go off. Well, I have audio for this PC. Ah. Let's see. Hold on one sec. I think I need to re-enable it. It like keeps taking over. There we go. Choose your input device. Green <laughs> PC. Oh my god, it's set as the default device. You don't want that. But he's showing right there. There we go. This is my default playback device then. This is my default. Okay. That's weird. Why? All right. So what was I looking for? The change chat box setting and remove. Battle announcements gathering. Okay, that's fine. Error message, echo. That's fine, that's fine. Uh, I, lo I love the uh, notifications for this stuff. It's cool. NPC do dialogue. That's fine. Uh, you obtain that. 51. Turn off XP gain. I don't know. I guess it's not too bad. Ah, geez, sorry. <laughs> Hopefully, console has similar settings. I think it does. Ah. Uh, I don't see how it would be majorly different, to be honest, if we're, if it's all like playable together, you know? So I would assume so, but it's a lot to see. All right, return to that person. Kill this dodo here. damage over time.
Uh, the one thing you do have to be on though is there's so the way it works um, you have data centers which is your overall like areas um, so data centers are like the data centers is a bunch of worlds combined so the world that I'm on is considered Genova right now so if you do create a character, you would have to make sure you're on the Aether uh, data center. And then when you go to a world, like if you're in the same uh, data center, then we can group up with each other. If you're in a different one, then we can't. But then if you're, um, if you wanna be like, say if I'm right here and you're right here, if you weren't on uh, the Genova world, we wouldn't see each other, but if you are on the Genova world, then we'll be able to see each other. Um, so, there's that as well. The good thing, too, is, like, this one is a North American, or, uh, yeah, North American, and it's a uh, Eastern server, I think it is. So, yeah, double checking this there. Okay. There, are you actually picking it up, you think? Because if so, that's pretty cool. I've seen this game before. Years ago, I was listening to music on YouTube, and someone used the opening cutscenes for the video. Such an epic battle. Yeah, there's some pretty cool stuff to this. Um, it's just like, it can definitely be a little bit grindy at times. That's where it kind of like loses me. And that the fact that like the all voice uh, actors are like, there's uh, not a ton. Like, I'm going to try to stick through this time and see how far we end up getting. About to purchase it. Nice. One thing I will say, make sure you like how your character looks. You can always change it one time for free, but just make sure you like how your starting character looks. Same here, same here, so that's all right. <laughs> okay, so it does bump it up in minutes. Is there a way to do when I kind of turn this off? progression messages I think that's that
Aha, there we go. Okay, nice. That helps filter out a little bit of the clutter so that way I can see uh, text and stuff. So I need a level five hands and a headpiece. Or right there and speak with this person. Okay. Or let me know if you need any help. I'm also on Genova. Okay, sounds good. N7 Neil, I appreciate it. Also, uh, thank you for the follow that earlier. I appreciate that as well um i'm just pretty much i have played in the past but i'm going fresh uh back into it because i kind of it's been a while and i don't remember much so uh i guess we'll see where it goes proceed with the quest head to where the heart is missed you may visit a residential ward okay Journey to the Mist. I guess that's through here. Go to specific ward tabs. Is this like the, I guess this is the housing district area. <laughs> so much for playing ESO more. It says get Journey to the Mist. The heart is missed. Expense, I encourage you to visit Miss so that you can see lands for yourself. Is that just by going to any one of these, I guess. Immersive experience, haunted house. Oh. oh, these are. How do you visit? Select. Oh, there we go. Okay. Dream. So if I do that and then select. Aha. Got it. Feel bad for buying a game and barely playing it. Uh, I mean, ESO is a pretty cheap game too, though. Um. So I mean, I get that. It's one of those games you can always go back to, though. Too. Like I don't, I'm sure eventually I might play ESO again, but who knows when. This is pretty cool. Whoa. Storm Recruiter. Welcome to the mist. Report back to them. I'm assuming that's like just go back to the person. Whoa. Yep, it is. Leave residential district.
now teleport to a residential district. Nice. Alright, is there a way I can get rid of that part? I don't want to get rid of that. Hmm. I guess I will. If anything, I'll see it pop up right here. Check here. That's fine. Do any of these quests give me and mender purchase weapons oh let's see my current level one still Same. Uh, hands. Okay, so I just need hands and head stuff. There's some live hands. And let's see if I can sell these. Okay. That boom. All right, let's pick up these quests right here. Wait, so how much is what she at? Oh, uh, what was she usually at? Yeah. errand all right this should give me enough uh, money to be able to run that main story quest again uh, actually report back to him what's the reward for this oh we can get uh, a head slot from it okay well uh, since I'm already here I might as well just knock this out Ice comb. <laughs> Relieved. Shaggy sheep. <laughs> what they say about uh, the fast thing?
24 hours of what? Wait, what? Oh. So excited to ride one of the bird mounts. <laughs> yeah, they're they're pretty uh, interesting animals, to say the least. Um, nice. There's one that we can just hand in over there, and then we're good to go to the next area. What's the one out here? Whack a mole. I dropped that quest. And then. We're prepared to refrain from attacking until ordered to do so. Uh, guard. Ordered at to refrain from attacking until you attack or are attacked. Okay. Stay, place, heal, and. Go to this one. go Thanks. all right let's go report back to the arcanist guild so over here yes i think when i uh chat with the arcanist guild as well yep star pack comes with 30 day free trial nice did you um did you already create a uh an account um like a square unix account this is crazy oh my god somebody's playing music not yet okay um because you'll you'll need to create uh or sign into your square unix account i always forget that you can fast travel um, and I think once you do that, if you use their referral code thing, then it'll give you, uh, the cool stuff. Do I do it now or wait? I would do it now. So that way you can just log into it. another quest for them? What's in the box? Back over there. Inspect the crates for some sort of Zephyr. Actually, we don't. Oh, you can go all the way over there. I think? Not sure if you even have an account. Yeah. If you ever play, you might, I don't know. I don't know how it works for like uh, PlayStation, but sometimes, I mean, maybe if you did have an account, it might already be linked to your PlayStation account. I would assume you would have to do some sort of linking, but not 100% sure. All right, let's see if we can go this way. If so, then I didn't realize. Oh, wow. You can. It looks like the crate is right down here. The mount's still with us. Hostile presence. Ah. Ah. 
nice because I can't heal myself. it again Not a threat, pray ignore my presence for their present and allow me a moment to. Okay. <laughs> Reaction to my sudden appearance was within expected parameters, but I must admit I did not expect you so prof proficient at performance against the enemies set against you. Yet effective though your tactics were, I spied much room for improvement as I watched you battle the wheels in my mind world into motion as they are, won't, as they are, won't do. Venting other possible strategies might have employed. Let's see, taking into account your current level of ability, factoring in that Aether constant multiplying by the number of the opponents then applying your tactics to the other potential combat scenarios oh dear the calculations indicate failure upon encountering threat level 900 uh, 9785 ah yes well we'll have to see about that what we can do about that uh i am alia a mealvens gate Successor. Acting Guildmaster Abrium elected me to oversee your training. Okay. It's downloading. Nice. Nice. The factor most influences your actions. Uh, potential amusement, desire to outwit an enemy. I simply do what feels right. Just as I predicted, now I can feel the final, uh, I have the final element needed to perform another calculation. Hmm, the probability of becoming an anarchist is of note is 90%, give or take half a percent. Quality is quite high. turn back over there uh you know what i'm just gonna use the teleporter thing like this yes i like truck hands right now Use this Ethernet, the Arcanist skill. Give me the hat.
Okay, so I can't do the next one yet. Uh, here we go. Just a call. Well, let me log into my Square Enix account now. Yeah, that's the one problem. There, are, there is some issues with that. Um with that kind of stuff i know mine was like a little finicky when i re-logged into mine for the first time in a while so um definitely make it make sure like your password and stuff is good and then if that doesn't work you might have to reach out to their their support Damn, they gave me a book anyways. I didn't even need to buy a book. Did you hear Shelly? Sorry, tale. You all heard of the rumors of the abductions. A citizens have been disappearing. Investigate the seasoning grotto. Is that at in the center? Okay. Um since it's right there, um, real quick, I'm gonna go run to the bathroom, fill up my drink, all that good stuff, and then we'll go ahead and continue. So I will be 